Guess who just got their second credit card? Venture Capital One, Venture One credit card. Travel points, baby. This is a real deal credit card. This is my first secured credit card. I got a little under a year ago. Next month, it'll make a year. And if you guys have been following me through my credit journey, um, you'll understand why I got a second credit card uh, so quickly. Um, over the past, what is it, 11 months, one loan, two credit cards, and all three of my major credit scores are above 700 points. I think my highest one right now is 720. I did take a little dip because of what's going on, but you'll see that in the rest of this video. <laughs> hey guys, how are you doing today? Welcome back to my channel for another video on credit. Uh, credit as a millennial, just fixing credit, repairing credit, learning about credit in general, because I figure the more you understand credit and why you do certain things and what these words mean, the better off you'll be. And I'm here to help you guys as much as possible um, with the things that I've learned with credit. So if you don't know who I am, I am Michael Romero. I'm a small time YouTuber, small time investor, small time financial enthusiast. Uh, just trying to do some big things and help you guys along the way as I'm taking my journey to financial enlightenment and financial freedom. Um, just pretty much documenting everything so you guys can see what works and what doesn't or different ways to go about doing certain things. Um, if you're new here, go ahead and click that little red subscribe button to join this little family we got going on. Also go ahead and smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm because it really helps a small channel like my like mine. <sighs> so, um, guys, 11 months ago in April, I think my math is right, April? Yeah, 11 months ago in April, I guess it's 11 months. Anyway, 11 months ago in April, I had uh, pretty much no credit. I mean, I had credit from like little things here and there but nothing major, like no credit cards, no loans. Um, just basically running my credit or whatever. Hospital bills, stuff like that. That's the reason why I had a credit score. Basically all negative impacting thing. I think the only thing that was positive, uh, positive influence on my credit score would be credit history. At that point in time, whenever I decided to get the Discover It credit card, secure credit card. So, um, when I first started my credit journey, it was 517, my credit score, anyway, across TransUnion and Equifax. I, I didn't really understand the difference between TransUnion, Equifax, and FICO at that time, so I didn't know to check my FICO, but uh, both TransUnion and Equifax was a 517 or 514 around there. Super low scores. Um, Basically all negative marks on my credit score. <coughs> Decided to get a uh, Discover It secured credit card. Got it. Started paying off uh, derogatory marks on my credit uh, report. So initially doubling up my credit usage. So I'm using credit to uh, mark down, take down the mark, negative marks on my credit score. So it's like doubling up, if that makes sense. Um, did that, started earning a little money from the cash back on here because this is a cash back credit card. I mainly now use it for quote emergencies, um, ju either just emergencies if I need to, or uh, gas. This is, I get the most cash back from gas on this credit card. So that's basically what I use it for. Um, speed up a couple months, I pay off everything off my derogatory marks, everything that I can't dispute. Continue using this. Um, I am building my credit score, getting real, real close to 700. My goal from April to December, all 2019, April 2019 to December 2019, was to get all three of my credit scores above 700, at least to 700, should I say. And you know what? I made it to 700. I made Equifax and my I made my TransUnion and my Equifax to 700. I believe, if I remember correctly, or just right there, right underneath it. Um, so with that being said, I pretty much made that my goal. But before I even hit my goal, I decided to take a loan out on money I had in the bank. This is called a secured loan. When I did that, 
it dropped my credit score, then it raised it, uh, it raised my credit score, then it dropped it, then it raised it again. You'll learn uh, in the future, if you continue watching these videos, or even if you go watch some of my older ones um, in my credit playlist, uh, why, that you, why your credit score acts the way it does when you get, you know, when you get your credit score ran and for certain things. So like, you know, whenever you are running your credit for, let's say to get a phone with a certain company, uh, that will impact your credit score differently than it would whenever you run it for a credit card or like, let's say a loan at a bank. Um, anyway, I get this loan, I start paying the loan off. Um, that's initially, you know, that's bringing my credit up. This is bringing my credit up. I pay off all my derogatory marks. That's bringing my credit up. Then today is March 8th, 2020. I decided to get this about a week ago. I said, well, time to move on up, get two credit cards, get a real credit card, continue using this one. But I wanted one with benefits, flying benefits, you know, travel benefits, because I do plan on doing a lot more traveling uh, in the years to come. Hopefully this year, definitely next year. <laughs> so I get this bad boy and I hadn't spent any money on it yet, but I will pretty soon. Uh, I want to go over some of the details on it. So $1,000 credit limit that I got um, starting with this, I get a uh, 1.25 miles for every dollar I spend. And in the first 30 days, if I spend a thousand dollars, I get 20,000 miles on this. So my plan with that is I'm not just going to go out and buy a bunch of random things that I would normally not spend money on to get the 20,000 points. What I will do is pay bills with this and then pay it off in the same week or, you know, a couple days after pay it off with my debit card on here. That way I get the points and I know that I will have this paid off. So I figure with my bills and whatever other little things I'm gonna be buying with this, like I said, I'm not gonna go out of my way to spend any money that I normally wouldn't. I'm gonna use this for my normal everyday purchases and bills and I guarantee you I'm gonna get $1,000 by 90 days. I'm really excited to use this, but let's go ahead, jump into the phone. Let's check out my credit score on Credit Karma, and I'm gonna go to the Capital One and show you guys my uh, CreditWise account because it, it lets me show you my CreditWise on here for some reason. Um, so boom, as you can see, I do have a Credit Karma savings account. Um, it was 1.8, but since the Fed cut the uh, interest rate, it's at 1.3. It's all good though. I ain't tripping because I'm still getting around 14 times the national average with this bank account. Uh, savings account, high yield savings account, should I say. So, updated on March 2nd. My TransUnion is 718. My Equifax is 712. And you'll see a little bit of here and there going up and down. So as you can see here, 732 was my highest, but then it dropped down about 15 points that is because that's when I decided to get this. So they had to run my uh, credit, they had to check my credit. That's why I have a, another hard inquiry on here. See Capital One hard inquiry. So this is technically beginning, whenever you begin it, it's gonna begin negatively. But two accounts, my Iberia Bank and my Discover account. My Iberia Bank is my loan. Discover, obviously, is this. But this bad boy, once this gets put on there, it will ultimately increase my, uh, it'll make my credit go up because it'll show that I have more of credit um, available to me. It may negatively impact my uh, average, my average uh, age of credit history, but I'm not tripping. You know, whenever you look at um, your age of your credit history on different platforms, here it says 11 months, but whenever I check credit wise or um, a different one, it says at four years. So you really wanna 
not stay, not look at this as 100% factual because we're, uh, again, um, different credit, di different creditors <laughs> will send your information to different credit bureaus. So, and then those credit bureaus will send it to different credit places, whatever you want to call it, like Credit Karma, Credit Wise, Experian. So, whenever you look at the different uh, places to check your credit, they will be different. Most of the time, a little bit different. But as you can see here, over the past year, 517 to 718, not that bad. As you can see the drastic change in all this, you can really see where I start putting in more effort and more work to change my credit around. 712 on Equifax is great. Like I said, I'm not worried about all this. It's gonna ultimately go up. Remember, hard inquiries ultimately take about two years to get taken off of your credit report. Sometimes less than that. But as you can see here, same thing with, with Equifax. You can see the slow rise, 517 to 712 in less than a year. That's what we're doing. So now, right now, my available credit I have to me for these two cards is $2,500, which isn't too bad. I can probably call, I can probably get them to raise it, but I'm not worried about it as of right now. Probably by the end of the year, I will do so. That way it can, um, I can, you know, continue building my credit and working on it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get out of this and we're gonna go to Credit uh, Capital One. I'm gonna go over some of the details for this here card. Let's see if it'll give you all my information. <laughs> While we wait. Mm, encrypting session. Thousand dollar credit available. I have zero reward miles because I haven't used this credit card yet. But let's see. So my credit score on credit wise is 720. And this is my, let's see if we can see the details on it. This is my FICO. I think credit wise shows you your FICO. So I don't, I think your credit wise shows FICO, but I'm not sure. Remember FICO, Equifon, uh, FICO, Equifax, and TransUnion. They're used for different things in the credit world. So as you can see here, oldest credit line, four years. I don't know, like I, I, I'm not sure where they get this from. Average credit, uh, $1,400. That's because this will hasn't been technically 100% set into my credit report yet. This is $1,500, um, but I pay this off. It usually takes a couple days, sometimes quite a while to show that you pay the credit card off, at least on these credit bureaus. Uh, Remember guys, on-time payments is the number the number one key to good credit, basically. Uh, let's see what we got here. Late fee, $39. We're never gonna get any late fees, remember that. Um, current APR is 0%. But after a year, 23.49%. We're never gonna use that because we're always gonna pay it off ahead of time. So this is basically where my credit is at today. Um, so let's get out of this. I just wanted to show you guys that it is 100%. It, it, this is real. You can change your credit with little to no money. Um, just a little bit of hustle, a little bit of time. If I can do this, you can do this. Like I say in all my videos, I came from not knowing anything about credit and saying I'll never use credit, I'm gonna pay everything cash, to um, being able to really understand credit and help people with theirs. And guys, check it out. Right now, I'm working on an ebook for credit, basically explaining credit and how credit works. Um, so be on the lookout for that in the next follow in the next couple months. Um, it is taking me a while to do it because I want to do it properly. But uh, yeah, um, just be on the lookout in the link in the descriptions of my videos for this. Uh, check out the link in the description of this video. Uh, there's several links for brokerage accounts and my dividend spreadsheet. So check that out if you're into that. Um, but anyway, if you really are serious about your credit, then go ahead and start today. It's simple. If I can do it, you can do it. I've helped quite a few people get their credit done already. People around me, I've helped my sister, I've helped coworkers, I've helped homeboys um, really start, get on track with their credit. Listen, any questions you got, leave me a, a comment for any types of questions you got, I'm here to help. Guys, remember, if I can do it, you can do it. 
I'm just a regular guy. I put some hustle, some time in. I learned this. If I can learn it, you can. You can get this done. So anyway, guys, look, if you find value out of this video, please go ahead and smash that thumbs up button for the algorithm because it really helps more than you guys know. Also, if you're still watching and you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, go ahead and do so so you can join this little family we got going on. I don't only do credit videos. If you're here just for that, awesome. I have videos on the stock market and videos on personal finance. So I'm just generally trying to get the ball rolling for everyone in every aspect of their life when it comes to finances. So I'm going to get out of here, guys. If you want to continue your journey to financial enlightenment with me, all you got to do is click one of these videos. Y'all have a great week.